this is lecture 2 for week 9 uh, Wednesday 22nd of December we uh, you are still in topic 7 okay this is the topic that you have to know today uh, to understand the differences between variable cost and fixed cost so this is an, another category of cost uh, before you have seen that cost can be categorized as manufacturing cost non-manufacturing cost uh, period cost product cost prime cost and conversion cost and now uh, another classification that you have to know is cost classification for predicting cost behavior so using this uh, classification cost can be divided or can be categorized into variable cost and fixed cost okay let's see okay this is variable cost the simple definition for variable cost is a cost that will change uh, when the quantity of, of production is changing. So the typical example for variable cost is uh, direct material cost and direct labor cost. In this uh, slide, you, you can see the everyday life example. The example that you can see here is tax cost or SMS cost. Uh, one SMS maybe ten cent, two SMS twenty cent, three SMS thirty cent. So that is the nature of variable cost. In the production process, the typical uh, variable cost is the direct material cost. Let's say you have a frozen food uh, business. So let's say one unit product the variable cost is uh, the direct material cost is uh, let's say one dollar twenty cent so one uh, one unit you produce the cost is one dollar twenty cent two units it become two dollar forty cent three units product it become the cost will become three dollar sixty cent so that is variable cost uh, a cost that will increase when the quantity of production increases uh, is called uh, variable cost another example of variable cost is labor cost uh, labor cost is measured uh, is measured using labor hours uh, you have a business you have a factory that produce something when you hire labor you have to pay the labor uh, according to the labor hour how many hours the the labor is working so in malaysia i think the labor uh, hour is like 6 7 ringgit per hour i think so if the workers work uh, 1 hour you have to pay 7 dollar 2 hours 14 dollar so if one product uh, it takes uh, one prod one unit product it let's say it takes half an hour for for labor to complete one unit product so one product uh, the labor cost is three three dollar fifty two products seven dollar three products ten dollar fifty uh, four products fourteen dollars so that is the nature of a variable cost the cost will increase when the quantity of production is increasing mm. yes so the if you plot the total variable cost the the graph will be like this the higher the quantity of production the higher the cost okay that is the the graph for total variable cost but graph the graph for unit variable cost is like the one that you can see in this slide. It shows that, see here the example here, uh, the cost per tax cent is constant at 5 cent per tax. So, unit variable cost is like this. One tax is 5 cent. 
You send two texts, two texts. The unit variable cost is still five cent because two texts, two texts. The total cost is ten cent divided by two. So unit variable cost is still five cent. So the line of the unit variable cost is like this. No matter how many uh, quantity, the unit cost, the unit variable cost is same, five cent per tax. Okay, remember the uh, the typical example for variable cost uh, is direct material cost and direct labor cost. That is the the typical. Okay, another category of cost under this classification is called fixed cost fixed cost is a cost that will not change uh, even though the quantity of production is changing so let's say you have a factory that produces uh, frozen food so you will have fixed cost like rental factory rental uh, the amount of the cost is fixed every month you have to pay the same uh, amount of rent every month. Let's say the rent is six thousand dollar. Factory rental is six thousand thousand dollar per month. So it is a fixed cost. No matter how many unit product you produce, you have to pay six thousand dollar per month for the rental. Uh, another example of um, fixed cost is uh, factory equipment depreciation. Uh, what else? Mm, property tax, maybe. Property tax is fixed. No matter how many unit you produce, you have to pay the same amount of property tax. Mm, what else? Maybe uh, production manager salary is fixed. Okay, so there are many examples for fixed costs. Uh, this uh, in this slide you can see uh, the an everyday example of fixed cost the example is uh, your cell phone uh, fixed monthly charge uh, so if you, you you have a smartphone so maybe you have to pay a fixed monthly charge uh, maybe here maybe 20 dollar something so that is fixed every month so no matter how many you how many uh, how many minutes you call and how many internet uh, data you use you have to pay the same amount so if you plot that total fixed cost graph you will the, you will see that the graph is like the one that you can see in this slide uh, no matter how many units or minutes use the the cost is same if you plot graph for the factory rental cost so the graph will look like this no matter how many unit you produce product during a month you will have to pay the same rental and uh, every month so that is the graph unit fixed cost on the other hand is like this like the one that you can see in this uh, slide the the higher the quantity of production, the lower unit fixed cost. So, how to calculate unit fixed cost? Unit fixed cost equal to total fixed cost divided by quantity. The more, the higher the quantity, the lower the unit fixed cost. So, this is the summary of uh, behave. Uh, the summary for. Uh, cost classification for predicting cost behavior variable cost and fixed cost you can see the summary here so remember the definition variable cost is a cost that will change uh, in accordance with the quantity of production the higher the quantity of production the higher the cost the lower the quanti quantity of production the lower the cost the typical example is direct material cost and direct labor cost fixed cost is a cost that will not change even though the quantity of production is changing the typical example is rental and depreciation 
rental and depreciation no matter how many units you produce you have to pay the same rent expense and also you have to record the same depreciation expense okay see you you have to know all the categories of course uh, if you are given a list of costs you have to know uh, each cost is related to which category uh, so let's see here which of the following costs this is a sample question uh, to test your understanding which of the following costs will be variable cost will will be variable with respect to the number of cones sold at the basket and robin shop basket and robins is an ice cream shop uh, so let's see the question asks you to identify which one is the variable cost. To answer this question, you have to remember the definition of variable cost. Variable cost is a cost that, that will change when the quantity of production is changing. Okay, The cost of lighting the store. Uh, what do you think? Is it variable cost or not? Uh, the answer is not. Uh, because no, ma no matter how many ice cream uh, this shop sells, uh, the cost of the lighting is same you sell one ice cream per month or 10,000 ice cream per month the cost of lighting is same okay the wages of the store manager uh, that one is also not a variable cost because the the salary the wages of the manager uh, is fixed no matter how many ice creams you sell one year one month you have to pay the same amount uh, of of wage for to the store manager uh, the cost of ice cream, uh, that one is a variable cost. Uh, one ice cream, the cost, let's say $1. Two ice cream, $2. Three ice cream, $3. Four ice cream, $4. So, C is an example of a variable cost. The cost of napkins for customers, what do you think? Uh, that cost is a variable cost because one customer, you have to give one napkin. Maybe the cost of one napkin is one, uh, 10 cents. So one customer, 10 cents. Two customers, two, 20 cents. Three customers, 30 cents. That is a, a variable cost. So I think the answer is C and D. Okay, that is the thing that you have to know. If you are given a list of costs, you have to know the category of the cost. Okay, this is another category of cost. Uh, cost also can be categorized into direct cost and indirect cost. Very easy, this one. Uh, direct cost. A cost that can be easily and convenient, conveniently traced to a unit of product or other cost object. So, direct cost. Uh, if you uh, have a product, direct cost a cost that can be traced directly to that product. You can calculate the cost when you look at the product. Okay, so the direct cost are direct material and direct labor. When you see a product, uh, you can see, you can calculate the direct material cost. And also, if you have a product, you can calculate the direct labor cost very easily. Because you can calculate how many labor hours is needed to produce that product. So, if the product is uh, needs one labor hour, so the cost is, let's say, maybe $7.00 per labor hour that you have paid to your labor 2 hours uh, $14 3 hours uh, $21 so that uh, direct labor and direct material cost are that are called direct cost so if there is a question ask you calculate direct cost for this product so the answer is direct material cost of that product plus direct material cost sorry direct labor cost of that product another uh, type of cost is called indirect cost. Indirect cost are costs that cannot be easily and convenient, conveniently traced to a unit of product or other cost object. So indirect cost are costs that related uh, uh, a manufacturing cost. Remember indirect cost are manufacturing cost but you cannot calculate the cost when you see the product. Uh, you see, you have a product that say frozen food. You have a battery, but there are costs that you cannot calculate uh, when you see the product. Okay, indirect costs are manufacturing overhead costs. 
uh, remember manufacturing overhead cost uh, the cost is like a uh, factory rental or uh, salary for the security guards so let's say you have a frozen food uh, product uh, and business and, and then when you look at the frozen food can you relate the cost of the factory rental and the frozen food that you produce and also cost of the security guard or janitor's salary uh, to the product you cannot because the, there is no direct relationship between the cost and the product so that's why it is called indirect cost so just memorize this one in uh, direct cost equal to direct material plus direct labor cost indirect cost equal to manufacturing overhead cost okay so you have seen many categories of cost uh, manufacturing cost, non-manufacturing cost, prime cost, product cost, conversion cost, period cost, variable cost, fixed cost, direct cost, indirect cost. So there are many type of cost categories or classification. So these cost categories is useful when you do financial reporting or you, when you want to make accounting, financial uh, accounting record. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is you, if you have knowledge about the categories of cost, you can use the knowledge to predict the future, the predicting cost behavior. Uh, particularly, if you know, uh, from, if you know the total fixed cost for a product and and total or or unit variable cost for a product, then uh, using that knowledge. Uh, you can use uh, the simple equation of y equal to a plus bx and then you can predict the uh, future cost. Maybe later I will explain about that. Uh, and then the third, the third box there you can see assigning cost to cost objects. Okay. So later you will learn that using the knowledge of about the cost classification that you have learned here, you can use the knowledge to calculate unit cost uh, for a product. Okay, you will see that later in the later chapter. Okay, another one that you have to know in this uh, topic is balance sheet presentation of inventory in manufacturing and merchandising inventories uh, merchandising companies okay see here uh, in topic one to topic six you have learned about how to prepare financial statement for a service business so you have learned that a service business does not have inventory because the a service business does not sell anything but a merchandising business has inventory a merchandising business is like a grocery shop. They have inventories. They sell something. Uh, a merchandising business has only one type of inventories. Uh, that is called uh, merchandise inventory or finished goods inventory. Uh, because the shop, the the merchandising business, sell this the finished product product only. So that is on the only type of inventory but if you see a manufacturing business a manufacturing business is a business that purchase raw material process the raw material and sell finished product so the, inv the inventories of the manufacturing business uh, has three types there are three types of inventories for a manufacturing business the first type is called finished goods the second type is called work in process the third step uh, the third type is raw material i have explained that in the previous uh, in the previous slide in the previous lecture video uh, why a manufacturing business has three types of inventories so when the business has three types of inventories, in the balance sheet of the business, the business has to show the the amount of value of three, these three types of inventories. Inventories, uh, inventories are 
a current asset of a business so it will appear in the balance sheet of the business okay this is not difficult okay this one is okay this is important uh, you have to know how to 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 do this okay here this is the manufacturing company income statement this is an income statement of a manufacturing company so remember when you learn in topics five, uh, topic 5 you have learned how to prepare an income statement but you have learned about how to prepare an income statement for a service business so the the format of the income statement is very simple revenue total revenue of the business and then you minus expenses Review, revenue minus expenses you will get profit for the business but for a manufacturing business the the income statement is like the one that you can see in this slide first you have to show the sales the revenue of this business is coming from the sales sales of product that they produce after that you have to show the cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold is the cost that the company pay to produce its product remember a merchandising business is uh, producing a uh, producing products so cost of goods sold that you can see here uh, is the cost to produce the product that the business pro uh, that the business sell so see the format of the cost of goods sold the format of the cost of goods sold or the calculation for the cost of goods is like the one that you can see in this slide first you have to show the finished goods inventory beginning finished goods inventory in this example 60,000 and then plus the cost of goods manufactured okay you will see the cost of goods manufactured uh, if you want to calculate that that item you have to prepare a statement uh, after this I will show you the format of the statement and then uh, six, uh, finished goods inventory plus the cost of goods manufactured you will get a number in this example the number is three thousand three hundred and fifty thousand dollar and then you have to minus uh, finished goods inventory ending finished goods inventory or finished goods inventory at the end of the year and then you will get a number in this example the number is two hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred dollar so sales $366,000 minus the cost of goods sold $287,500 you will get gross profit in this example the gross profit is $78,500 that is gross profit after that you have to minus expenses there are two types of expenses selling expenses and admin expenses uh, total expenses in this example is 35,000 so gross profit minus total expenses you will get net profit okay this remember this very important this is the format for income statement for a manufacturing business okay now how to to calculate the cost of goods manufactured cost of goods manufactured uh, means the cost that the business has to pay to manufacture the product okay so how to do that so there is a format for that okay the format for cost of goods manufactured is like this see here i will show you this is from a sample question so this is the format for cost of goods manufactured to calculate the cost of goods manufactured, you have to prepare this schedule. Cost of goods manufactured schedule. Okay. So, see the first item there. The first item, like I said earlier, this cost of goods manufactured equal to cost to manufacture the product. So, remember uh, the, the definition for manufacturing cost or cost to manufacture product in accounting. Uh, if you manufacture product, the cost of that product equal to direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus overhead cost. So when you prepare the cost of goods manufactured schedule, the first thing that you have to show is the direct material cost. See, direct material use. 
this example 30, 378,000 and then you have to show the direct ma manufacturing labor cost in this example 480,000 and then you have to to show or to add manufacturing overhead uh, like the explanation that I have given in the previous lecture there are many types of manufacturing of it. So when you prepare this cost of goods manufacturing schedule, cost of goods manufactured schedule, there are many types of overhead. You will see or you will have to list many types of manufacturing overhead. In this example, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, manufacturing overhead. Uh, the first one is depreciation and then indirect labor and then indirect material, miscellaneous plan overhead plan utilities and tax property tax so the total uh, manufacturing overhead in this example is seven hundred and ninety thousand two hundred dollar so you have to add these three costs and then in this example the total of these three costs direct material plus direct labor plus overhead equal to one million six hundred and forty eight thousand two hundred and then remember you have to add beginning WIP inventory in this example, 140,400. And then you have to minus WIP ending inventory. At beginning WIP inventory and minus w, uh, and ending WIP inventory. In this example, the ending WIP inventory is 171,000. So the cost of goods manufactured in this example is 1,600,000. And seventeen thousand six hundred dollar. You prepare this schedule, this cost of good manufactured schedule, and then after that, only after that you can prepare the income statement for a manufacturing business. Uh, that's all for this lecture. Uh, thank you very much. Do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section of this video. I will record that as your lecture attendance. Thank you very much.